Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a review on my beautiful Pallone bag, a Pallone bag, not sure how you pronounce it. P-O-L-E-N-E. -E. <laughs> I'm doing the review on the Numero Uno Nano. They have very affordable bags. These bags are 100% leather, well-made handbags, and they're very, very popular through Instagram. I'm not sure about outside of Instagram, but I found this company through Instagram and I was so happy to actually purchase one. This handbag is in, like I said, the nano size. They come in different sizes. They have all different kinds of designs, colors, what have you. They have it all. So I bought this one because I thought it was so cute. It was on my wish list for a long time. So I think last year, Christmas, I decided to purchase this bag because they had free shipping and um, I think there was another discount, like free shipping and maybe $20 off, I forget. But this bag was only $300. Yeah, I think it was $300 and I got free shipping. So it was a steal. Um, shipping is usually, I think, $20. Oh, also there's no tax. That's what it was. So there was no tax and no shipping. So I paid, I think, a flat $320 or $300. Don't quote me on the price. Um, I will link their website down below. All right, so this is how it looks. It says Pallone in the front. At the bottom, it has four feet. And the back has a back pocket that I did use to put my iPhone. But fortunately, it leaves a dent once you do that. So I never use the back pocket again, but it's still there. I don't know how to take it off, but it's fine. It has white stitching all around the bag. It has an adjustable um, an adjustable handle or strap. On the button, it says Poloni, a Pallone. Um, yeah, I'm just messing up the name. <laughs> but yes, so this is so nice. It, the leather quality is amazing. It comes in two different um, textures. It's either textured leather or smooth leather. I got the smooth leather, which does show some scratches, but I'm okay with that. And the texture leather does not show any scratches. It has a top handle, which is you could which you could hold like this, or you could wear a crossbody. It's up to you. All right, and then has the cute button closure. I kept the sticker still on there. Because um, I just don't like taking the sticker off unless it falls off on its own. And then on the inside, it has these two little buttons. Which, ooh, which makes the bag smaller. Um, see, I scratched this over here. Next time, I'll probably try the textured leather because this is very sensitive. It also, it's dirty. My goodness. But anyway, so you could close your bag like so. But I think when it's closed, it doesn't give you enough room. I prefer to leave it open. When I'm using a bag, when I store it, I keep it closed. And inside, it has the name again. So it's made in Spain. So it's Poloni made in Spain. It also has a back pocket, which you could put a card holder or whatever. Um, you feel like put it in the back. A cell phone does not fit in the back unless you have like the 12 mini. I'm not sure. And then over here is the... It has like a cloth lining. It's not microfiber. It's like regular cloth um, inside. And I usually, like I said, close the bag like this. And I leave this part open because it gives the bag more room. And let me show you what fits inside. I have my mini pochette and the monogram that fits in there. I have my um, card holder from Louis Vuitton. It's a reverse card holder. It fits back in there. I have my Basio coin purse. I think it has a little stain, which I have to clean. Um, this is textured leather. See the difference between this and this? This one is textured and this one is smooth. So, yeah, so this could fit in the back as well if you wanted to. Or you could put it in the front. I'll leave it in the back. It's just to have more room in the main. Just to have more room in the main compartment. I have my Gucci card holder. I'll 
put that in front of my mini pochette. My round coin purse. It has coins in there. That goes in the front. I have my key pouch. Or clay, if you want to call it that. That goes in the front. See, it has a lot of room. And then I have my six key holder. And that fits in there too. I think I can stand that up like so. All right, let me close the bag. Let's see if it could close. And it does. Like I said, I don't cinch in the sides because it makes it hard to close. I could try so you guys can see how it would look. But when you do close it like this and you try to get in, it makes it hard because it's now a smaller space. So you have to like dig in and it's impossible to take anything out. So that's why I leave it open. But let me show it how it looks closed. Then also, I notice when it's stuffed, it does put a dent in the leather when it's closed in the inside. That's why I don't close the inside because I don't like the little impressions that it makes on the bag. Because because this bag is such a smooth leather bag, it get it easily gets um, distorted. Distorted. So if you take, let me see, you could take stuff out but it makes it a little difficult because it's so tight. So it, it is possible to take things out. I doubt I could take the mini pochette out. Um, let me see if I can. See, once I tried to, I had to open it up, so. All right, so what's in my bag so far is my Hermes Basia my LV card holder, my mini pochette, my six ring key holder, my Gucci card holder, my round coin purse, and my key pouch. I'm going to also fit in my AirPods, my AirPod Pro. I'm gonna put that on the, in the corner. And um, let's see if we could add this hand sanitizer wipes that goes in there I actually don't need this because I have um, hand sanitizer but let's say I decide to go somewhere with my kids and I want to wipe them down I could use that that fits in there I have another card holder um, I probably won't use this but let's just see if it could fit if I need it need it to fit and it, let's see. No, it doesn't. It's just too full. So let's just leave it like that. And this card holder, I'm going to put it down. So let's see if we close it. Does it close? And it does. So, yes, all of these items fit in this um, Poly Nano bag. And I forgot to mention the buttons on here says Poly Paris, which is really cute. So you could close it this way if you want. And you could keep the bag open like this which I doubt you want to do. But like I said, if you close it, struggling here. If you do close it, it does give that little indentation right here because it's stuffed. But yes, it does close. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video on the Pallone Numero Uno Nano bag. This bag is definitely a great buy, very inexpensive. So if you'd like to purchase from them, I will link their website down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like, please click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. If you have any comments, please leave it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.